So, hi, welcome to Pricey Spices uh, Grow Vlog. It is 2017 and it is now the 13th of February. So, we're on our second instalment of what we're going to show you on propagation, getting your seeds growing, and uh, getting what we've got in our lovely little rooted sponges here to grow to the next level. So, obviously, you saw us on our last episode using the sponges, using the plant star and getting our nutrient solution to the right pH and obviously making sure that we've got things ready to go forwards. So basically on to the next step. So what we're going to show you today is using a heat mat. So there's two different ways you can go. There's obviously heated propagators, there's heat mats with a regular propagator. So that's what this is, okay? You've basically got a different sizes of these. This one is uh, 40 centimeters by 60 centimeters. So what you'll find is there are electric elements that run all the way through this and you literally plug it in. Now you're probably going to ask, well how hot does it get? Well what you want to do with this is not just plug it into the mains, you want to get a system to control how hot you actually are going to do your propagation. So by using a digital thermostat such as this one, let's take this one out of the box and I'll show you what it is. So this is a system whereby you're going to have your temperature set on here, so whatever you want to uh, propagate your seeds at. You've got a temperature probe right there that you're going to put into your uh, propagator and plug this end into your mains. So how does it control it? Well if you plug your heat mat straight into that piece there, this will turn on and off when the temperature is requiring to get warmer it will turn on and when the temperature is met it will turn off. So when the temperature probe decides yep yeah, it's gone cool again it will keep turning on and off to make sure that your propagator stays at the right temperature. So basically if we undo this here You will now see we have 68.7 uh, degrees Fahrenheit display. Now we can change that into degrees Celsius or you can use Fahrenheit, it's completely up to you. And we will also plug into that now our heated mat. So let's just plug that down there for a second. So for best positioning of your uh, digital temperature gauge, what you should really do is you can place it above where the seeds are going to be and hover it there but you will get more of an accurate germination if you actually get your temperature probe and place it where the seeds are going to be so if you plunk that wedged in there and then put your propagator lid back over the top you will find that that will give more of an accurate temperature of how hot the uh, the rooted sponges are going to be now if you want to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius literally press and hold the down arrow on your rooted uh, thermostat Press it down arrow down for three seconds and you'll change that to degrees Celsius. If you want to change back to Fahrenheit, press and hold up, hold that down for three seconds and you'll change back. So if we want to actually change the temperature, we're going to change it to Celsius. That's the one that I prefer to work in. We'll press and hold the set button down. Three seconds and now it's flashing. So I'm going to change that to 28 degrees and press the set button again. So right now it is at 19.1 and if I press the set button and hold it you'll see 28 is what I've set it to so that will now warm up the uh, the mat we'll get a couple more trays on there and uh, basically get the lids on and they will then get up to 28 degrees that'll probably take a good 5-10 minutes just to make sure that uh, everything starts coming up to temperature so as we can see the uh, temperature on the digital thermostat is now coming up nearly at uh, 20 degrees so in the space of a few minutes we've already warmed up uh, one degree we've got a uh, good sized propagator lid over our uh, cute, uh, rooted sponges and uh, the reason why we've put a bigger lid on is just for the fact that the, uh, the labels that we've gone with are a little on the large tall side so uh, we might either need to uh, reduce them down a little bit or uh, just go with a bigger lid for now but as you can see we've got more space that we can probably get uh, a few more times that area on that grow mat. You can get grow mats that will cover the entire large tray that we've got on now which is 1.2 metres long 
Right. It is worth while growing this way, propagating with lights and having that stability. You'll get your plants ready for the season ahead, especially chili plants. Your chili plants need to be of latest by the end of February, especially if they're uh, capsicum chinense varieties. They're your super hots. You've obviously got anums, which are milder, frutescence, pecatums, pubescence. They're all the uh, the milder varieties, but the chinens definitely before the end of this month they need to have started being germinated. So get them in your propagators and uh, let them get growing. Uh, you will find uh, within seven to ten days they will start uh, popping through, and as soon as you've done that, this is why you need to now have a look at basically getting yourself a T5 light. So you can see there, we have two sorts. We have the T5 here, which you get a much better spread of light. And then also up here, we have a 125 watt uh, compact fluorescent ACFL. Now, they're both very, very good. The EnviroGrow Lumi is far better. You can get these in different sizes. You can get them in two foot lengths with two tubes and four tubes. You can also get this one. This one's a four tube. Uh, four foot long and you can also get that in eight tubes uh, wide as well which is about, well, I think it's about double the width. Uh, you can turn the lights on and off uh, to allow not having to use all the lamps but what I would also suggest is using a timer. Now these come uh, in digital formats and they also come in the manual rotation method so what you can see on there is You've got some little switches that you push in and clip out depending on what hours you want these to come on. Now, grow lights, I've generally always gone with the principle of uh, using them for 18 hours on and 6 hours off. Now the reason why you don't leave that on 24 hours a day is that you will stress your plants out. Now they do need time to uh, photosynthesize, obviously using light and that's what the T5 lights will do in the CFL. Season. but this is going to make sure that your plants don't get leggy and they've got a nice bit of strength in them and they also start to photosynthesize and get a real good grow on so using the right nutrients using the plant start at the right levels so you can increase that now from rather than four milliliters for the soaking you can increase that i think it's double so i think go for seven or eight milliliters per liter once you stir your seeds start popping through and you can see them so Get yourself one of these. I opt for the old analog style one. I like digital technology, but when it comes to something as simple as this, rather than messing around with the timer, you can simply see where the, the buttons are for on and off, and that will rotate. Simple, very very much it's just 24 hour clock. So get yourself one of these for about three pounds. The digital ones are about 10 or 12 pounds, so it's a no brainer. Get yourself the simple format. You literally plug your light into that, and your light will come on and go off at the times you suggest. So, so moving on, let's have a look at the uh, the Lumi EnviroGrow. So you have got two switches over on the far end. So if we turn this one on, you'll basically see the two outside lights come on, and then the two inside lights. So you can turn these on and off. You can have as much light or as little light. This particular unit's got 16,000 lumens. And as far as wattage goes, I think it's somewhere in the region of about 180 watts, something like that. So, but if you want to grow something and you want to make the most of the season, this is certainly the way to go. So the EnviroGrow Lumi is, uh, that's pretty much going to cost you somewhere in the region of about £110 worth every penny and if any of the bulbs go which they will last a good few years you can swap the individual bulbs out so let's show you from underneath anyway we'll turn off the lights and if we look up there you can basically see the different bulbs in there so if I turn the first switch on again there we go we've got the outside bulbs and now we've got the inside bulbs on and vice versa so to basically wrap up uh, this little episode uh, of showing you about getting your seeds propagating on a heat mat and using light, obviously don't put your light on until your seeds have started popping through but when the first one or two do start showing signs of the uh, of looping and you see the, uh, the little two cotyledons coming through, you then need to get the grow lamp on. If you don't, your seeds will get leggy. You can sort that out and we'll show you how to do that in a later video but if they're not leggy, you will have a much better, stronger seed and uh, plant growing and it will give you better results throughout the rest of the season. However, have it all set up, 
get yourself ready, get your seeds uh, sown and uh, get yourself a little plan of action to make sure you're not going to miss the data when you need to get your chilies sown by. But as for now, uh, don't forget to uh, give us a like, subscribe to the videos, you'll see when the next episode comes out and we'll show you where we're going on with the, uh, the other products uh, that we're going to be using for the rest of the season. Um, we hope you uh, follow us and basically show us where your grow is going, we'd like to know what you're up to. But don't forget to uh, check out our website www.pricespices.com and uh, check out our amazing sources, seasonings, chutneys, curry paste, uh, everything. And as you can see here, we're, uh, we're near the wall of flame today, so you can see our uh, awards that we've won over the last couple of years. So do get growing, we'd love to see what you're doing and uh, stay up to date with us. Thanks very much, we'll catch you in the next episode.